southern rock group Confederate Railroad was part of a lineup of bands that were set to play at the DeCoin State Fair in the state of Illinois on August 27th of this year. However, due to their band's name, the Southern Rock Group was removed and in just a moment, we will take a look at the band's statement that was just released as of today. But just a quick recap, the decision to pull Confederate Railroad from the lineup has stirred up quite the controversy amongst fans and other artists. One artist being Charlie Daniels, he turned to Twitter and wrote, This political correctness thing is totally out of control. When a fair cancels the Confederate Railroad ban because of their name, it's giving in to fascism, plain and simple, and our freedom disappears piece by piece. Sick of it. And according to John Gross, who is the state fair manager, explained that the Illinois Department of Agriculture was who decided to pull the ban because of their name. The decision apparently came after a political blog known as Capital Facts when they questioned whether it would be appropriate for the group to perform due to their name. John Gross would respond by saying, While every artist has a right to expression, we believe this decision is in the best interest of serving all of the people in our state. Local media also added that the decision appeared to reflect racial sensitivity concerns. And initially, Confederate Railroad declined to comment on the decision when they were contacted. But now, as of today, the band has released a statement regarding the decision on their website. Lead singer Danny Shirley's statement reads, As many of you know, we were scheduled to perform at the Illinois State Fair in DeCoin, Illinois on August 27th, along with our friends Restless Heart and Shenandoah. We have since been removed from that show by the Illinois Department of Agriculture because of the name of our band. This was very disappointing as we have played this fair before and enjoyed it very much. The outpouring of support from Confederate Railroad fans, fans of other acts, and the public in general has been both overwhelming and very much appreciated. I would also like to thank the actors, athletes, and fellow country music artists who have spoken out in support. It has been brought to my attention that several people have asked both Restless Heart and Shenandoah to cancel their shows in protest of our cancellation. I have spoken to both acts and encouraged them to perform as scheduled. Live concerts are how we pay our bills and feed our families. I would never want to see another act lose a payday because of this. Please go out to hear these two great bands. As I have said many times on stage, I am by no means a saint, but I am a man of faith, and I have faith that God will see us through this, as well as whatever comes next. Thank you for your support. This decision to remove Confederate Railroad has definitely created quite the controversy throughout the country music industry and its fans. And even with the release of the band's statement, their website still shows the band scheduled to play the fair for 90's Country Reloaded Day. However, Ticketmaster is still showing no listing for the show. Well, that's all for today's video, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down at the bottom and turn those notifications on for breaking updates on your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country.